Amen. Come on in. Amen. I know I'm a little late, but come on, get in here. Get in this room. Invite your followers. Invite your friends. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, my coast boy, he made it in. Amen. Y'all, come on, come on. Get the room up. Come on, somebody shake the me. And I know he probably on lunch break. Or on the floor. I hopefully in that out on the floor. Amen. If I say Caleb ain't doing nothing. Where Caleb at? Y'all come and invite your let me see what I what can I do? Let me see. Uh absolutely nothing. Amen. Been waiting. Yep. I promised I would. I'm praying, Ma. I'm praying. We're trying to get down there to you. Man, it's been a this has been a week. It's been good, but it's been a week though. Yeah. Just talk to somebody. I'm telling you, God works. Hello, hello. I'm telling you, God works miracles. He can take two thousand dollar bills down to what their real bill price was. I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, invite. Come on, somebody invite your followers. I think with Shania. I think you invite them one more time to probably get the message. Hello, anointing for purpose. Hello. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trying to get y'all on here before I just start running my mouth <laughs> and running off at the mouth. Amen. How many were on the uh, Apostolic Renaissance Network launch last night? I'm still a little tired from that. But amen. Um, it's almost like God put his hand in me, not on me, in me. And uh, yeah, that scope last night was absolutely bonkers. <laughs> um, but I think I was... It's probably because I was actually sleepy and everything because we literally, it was like fire. I was like, I felt like I was lit on fire after the call last night. I literally felt like I was, they did come out of the woodwork. I'm like, and we can't find them souls right now. It was 150 some of our folk on there last night. I'm like, none of these are my followers. <laughs> like where these people come from? They just come out of the woodwork, don't want a word. They, they don't. Folk don't want nothing. Amen. Let me see. Rashani, I think, let me see. Invite your followers one more time. And, um, but praise the Lord. Yeah, cluster pearl. But amen. We're going to be on again tonight. Uh, the Apostle Renaissance Network launch extends to tonight. I'm not even going to ask God why. I'm just tired. <laughs> but it looks like y'all are on. I'm just going to minister to y'all. But I'm telling you, last night was something. Last night was something. The price of transfiguration. I'm telling you, you can't go to your next level with everybody attached. It can't happen. It can't happen. Um, there has to be some level of uh, security when you go to your transfiguration. Um Everyone can't. First of all, let's talk about that, because I did tell, talk to y'all that um, I wanted to talk a little bit about. I know I put subterrestrial and extraterrestrial in the terrestrial kingdom, and I've dealt a little bit with the subterrestrial. I'm going to get back with that on tomorrow. But today for a little bit, I really want to deal with the extraterrestrial. I promised y'all about the Acacia Records. That's why I'm trying to get everybody on the call because they're going to miss a treat. They're going to have to replay it. But really want to talk about people that read the stars. People that talk to uh, angels. People that talk to spirits of light. People that talk to uh, things that it's not the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost don't don't lie. And I think with I'm so tired of what's going on with Brian Kahn. It makes me sick. 
I'm just being honest. I'm so tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of people debating about it. I'm tired of people going back and forth. The end At the end of the day, we just want to know what God said. And if God didn't say it, then we shouldn't be saying it, period. And if God is saying it, then we need to, if God watches well over his word to bring it to pass, then why don't we watch well over his word so it can come to pass? I think that's the problem. Sometimes we get hyped on gifts and prophecy and ooh, God going to do it for me that we don't look corporately as a body as, oh my God, what is being released? What's being released over my family? What's being released over my children? What's being released over my church? What's being released over my, my people? What's being released? Come on, we need to know. We need to know what's being released and from what realm is being released. Like, I already know that there are certain certain there are certain realms that I sit in and there are certain realms that I do not sit in. There are certain realms that I'm still traversing to, that I'm still moving to. Um, I don't inhabit every realm all the time from every place, from every seat in the kingdom. That's impossible. You know, that's too much work. Why would I want everyone else's job? If we would just get in place, we'll see uh, the job of the body fulfilled. But you got to know from from what realm, where do you emanate from? What do you rule in the spirit? And I think that's very important. What has God given you governance or dominion over. You see, there's some people that are trying to attack uh, marine spirits and spirits in the extraterrestrial and have not fully had a good war with the spirits that move in the terrestrial. You look in the book of Genesis, he gave man dominion. Let's see, as soon as I say dominion, here comes dominion. He gave them dominion over first the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and every creeping thing that creeps on the ground. On cue, it's crazy. Uh, on the ground. Okay, that's a typology or shadow for the type of warfare that we come through. Now, we're dealing with deliverance. So you guys keep me on point because I can't see a timer while I'm on the phone. But y'all let me know when, it, when we go into the next hour. Because I think about 30 minutes. I'll give you as much as God want me to, but I think we're going, uh, let me know when the hour changes. For us, it'll be one o'clock. For y'all, it'll be maybe two. Uh, what time do y'all have? Let me see what time you got. I know what time I'm working with. So I can drop this bomb, drop this bomb on you. Ah, that's good. We got 15 minutes. Okay. Let's see how fast I can drop this bomb in 15 minutes. Okay. The, the people that... When you're talking about transfiguration, you dropped the bomb on me, right? <laughs> what if we were not? Okay, people talking about transfiguration. You got to understand, on your way ascending, mm, 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 mm. I feel like this class is another version of catching the spirit of a thing. Because in order for you to receive the uh, upload of what God is doing, you have to receive the download of what God put in you. So when you get the download of what God deposits in you, you're able to reach in your spirit and pull up the upload. Do you get what I'm saying? A revelation. That's how revelation works. You know, so shall my, I can back it up with scripture. Come on, Isaiah. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void but it shall prosper in the thing where to I send it and it shall accomplish what I set it out to do. That's how the world works. And, and as the snow falls on the mountaintops, so shall my word be. So shall my word be. What does that mean? There's got to be a download. And when it's downloaded, it doesn't ever come back in the form that it went up in. Are you getting that? Are you receiving that? When you worship, worship is like rain. Praise is like rain. It's like water. Okay, just like the word. The word is like water. When you cry, when you wail, when you worship, 
your worship goes up. Now, let's see this as a diagram. Your worship goes up into the spirit realm and it forms your evaporated prayers. Your evaporated worship goes up into God's nostrils and it forms as a cloud in the spirit realm. And when it's time for that word to be released in whatever form you need it in, it's released, whether it's hail on your enemy, whether it's rain on your crops, whether it's snow on the top of your mountain, whether it's dew on the bed of your field, you need to know what is God releasing. And that's dealing with the Mayim and the Kaim of God. Okay. That's dealing with the water. Waterfalls, streams, rivers, oceans, lakes, uh, dew, mist, cloud, all the, of the precipitation of the spirit deals with what is called the Mayim realm and the Kaim. See, this is school supernatural too. The Mayim and the Kaim of the spirit. M-A-Y-I-M slash C-H-A-Y-I-M, the Mayim and the Kaim of the spirit, okay? And that comes back to you in whatever form that it's needed to come back in, okay? Now, it's coming back down in your spirit as a download. Sometimes you don't know why you're praying, why you're fasting, why you're doing what you're doing in divine obedience, but it's for the download that you asked for months ago, Okay? So you're about to receive the download. Let's follow the word, what he's trying to say even through this. God is about to have you to receive the word that has been downloaded. Now you're about to upload it. Someone say, I'm about to upload it. I'm about to upload that revelation. I'm about to upload that dream. I'm about to upload that vision. I'm about to upload that business. I'm about to upload what has been downloaded, divine downloads bring you to your heavenly upload. You, what did, what is heaven uploading out of me? What is coming out of me? Okay. Now, once you understand that and you understand who you are, then you go on into your transfiguration. Okay. You're about to take on a change. Everyone that's been going in the body of Christ, they've been looking for God to do something. Then you're headed to your change. Okay. Once you're headed to your change, your transformation, your metamorphosis or metamorpho, when you're headed toward that transfiguration and 